Well, this is a new Rolls-Royce engine. Um, Rolls-Royce has over a century of engineering excellence and we have over 70 years of experience in the medium speed market in which this engine fits into. We're launching it as a both gas and liquid engine, which is what our customers require in Asia. And with the basis of the strong pedigree and background we have within Rolls-Royce to deliver this engine to our customers, we feel it is ideally suited to the market in terms of clean, green, efficient and dependable technologies. While this engine was driven by customers, we did a good, strong car requirement capture from our customers at the outset of this process, and we've driven it right the way through into the product itself. The feedback from our customers is that they're really looking forward to having the benefits of the efficiency, the emissions that come from the engine, and the availability that comes with it. So, of course, these engines are fit for all the traditional applications that you would expect for an engine of, of this type. So, base load power, peak shaving, CHP applications, tri-generation. Those applications are all applicable. But in addition, we have to move into the modern era where we have hybrid and microgrids, and these engines are ideally suited for that environment and that application. This engine uh, construction is pioneering the future by being uh, future-proof. Um, it's very much in the modular design of the engine, where you can actually develop and implement new modules as technologies are evolving. The modularity of this engine is really pointing into the future, because there is a level of uncertainty about the future regarding what fuels will we have. You need fuel flexibility, and this engine platform is perfectly fit to adapt to different fuels and be rebuilt to any fuel that might appear on the horizon.